Alrighty, let's see if it's... Uh, underground Sea. Jeweled Lotus. Mox Opal. Pass the turn. Hey. Right. Raw. I'll play a mountain. And then we start with the blue face. Then it's gonna mox. Uh, somebody's gonna mill one. So, you got a relentless assault milled. Cloudstone Curio. Alright. Um, and then winds of change. Uh, on that'll pass. Draw a card. I'll play a mountain. Tap it for a soul ring. Tap soul ring for a talisman of conviction. And then I'll pass the turn. I'll play a windswept teeth. I will pay a life and crack it. Find a taiga. And then if you're okay with shortcutting, yep. I will cut flowers. Sounds good. Alright, uh, I will move to second main phase. I will have nothing to do with that mana. I'm gonna pass through phase there. Draw. Do Morphic Tool. We'll do Mox Diamond pitching a strip line. Alter Dementia. Jeweled Lotus. Blue Blue. Hidetsukun Kaihiri. ETB. We shall put. We'll do this card and stand that on. Roll past turn. What's that? You're up. Uh, I'll play a mountain. Everybody's gonna mill one. We got an island. Red, Red blast. Intuition. Well, well. Uh, I'll pay three into a thousand year elixir. Everybody's gonna mill one more. Uh, Nexus of Fate, but uh, if Nexus of Fate we put in my graveyard, I could shuffle back in. Uh, okay, nice. So that's cool. <laughs> I get to keep my Nexus of Fate. I can't mill them out. <laughs> that is true. Um, and on that, we'll pass it. Untap, upkeep, and draw a card. Play a Bloodstained Mire. I am going to go ahead and crack the Bloodstained Mire to get the... Uh, what is the Red White Land? Plateau. Plateau, yep. Or no, Red... Bl I need blue. I read blue. Oh, Volk. Yeah. Volcanic Island. Tap for blue. And play a fish. I'll pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, you're off the turn. Pre-combat main phase. I will target... Yeah, I'll target Palkatina. Uh, you have one island still, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Add a green. I will play my land for turn, which is a City of Traders. I will pay four and cast the One Ring. Paying for the fish. Oh, I cannot pay. I will draw. Thank you so much. It, et it enters. I gain protection from everything until my next turn. And I will just pass from there. No black. And I'm going to play Fame Death on Hitsugun Kairi. Mystic, Mystic Remora. No. I will draw a card. We're then going to sacrifice it to hit to alter dementia, and I'll have Jace smell five. You one, two, three, four, five. You got personal tutor, Nexus of Fate, Temporal Master, Rise of the Eldrazi, and Jewel Lotus. So the only card that will get shuffled back in will be Nexus of Fate, and these four will be in my bin. He comes back with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. And we'll do the ETB and then the Death Trigger first in that order. Um, we'll put it in this order. And then to resolve our Death Trigger, Temporal Trespass or Temporal Mastery, Jace, have you lose seven. And I will cast Temporal Mastery to take an extra turn. I think you have a Fish Trigger. Yes, are you going to pay for that? No. All right, I will draw, and then I would like to respond. I would like to show you a Pyroblast. Yep, that's fine. Last turn. I am going to pay two and cast a Moria Marauder. Uh, it has double strike. Whenever a goblin I control, you just kind of an empty player. Exile type card in my library. I can play that card this turn. 
Uh, everybody's gonna mill one from that cast. Hey, a goblin matron. You got. Re- you can't have my mama. Respot resurgent. Grim Trader. And on that, I'm gonna pass it. Well, <laughs> untap. I'm gonna let the fish die because I'm. Mill- I need to be able to play stuff since I'm milling quickly here, and I'll draw a card. Play a polluted delta. Crack it. I'm gonna go search for the blue white land this time. And then I would like to tap for my three colors and three more and attempt to cast Narset. Uh, Narset's good, I'll pass the turn. And so I'll put a burden counter on my one ring and draw a card. Sounds reasonable. Untap. Upkeep, I will lose a life from the one ring. Draw for turn. Free combat main phase. Jace, I will target you with my carpet of flowers. You got it, two blue. Two red mana. I'm going to tap City of Traders to float two colorless, and I will play an Urza Saga as my land for turn, sacrificing City of Traders uh, for six mana to cast a Hellkite Courser. Hellkite Courser enters, Itali will enter the battlefield, and we will have an Itali trigger. All right. Hey, look, Nexus of Fate. <laughs> you guys Ooh. keep getting my Nexus of Fate. And an Eldritch Evolution for me. Uh, Ashnod's altar. Ashnod's altar. And a mana vault. Okay. Let's see then here. Well, I'm definitely. I love extra turns. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks that you can take an extra turn. I think I will cast that mana vault as well. And then the Ashnod's altar. Cast that too. Uh, I will cast the Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Hellkite Courser as an additional cost. Yeah, I'll, I'll order them on the set. Eldritch Evolution will resolve last. So Nexus of Fate will resolve first, followed by Ashnod's Altar, followed by Mana Vault, followed by the Eldritch Evolution. Uh, I will tutor for a, an eight dropper less. And put it directly onto the battlefield. I will get Rionia Fire Dancer. Uh, at the beginning of combat on my turn, I create X tokens that are copies of another target creature I control, where X is the number of instants and sorceries are cast this turn plus one. They gain haste, exile them at the beginning of the next end step. And I have cast two instants and sorceries, I believe. So two more Atalis. Three more Atalis. So X plus one. I would like to move to combat. Yeah. Welcome to combat. Trigger Rionia. I will target my Itali with the Rionia trigger. I will make three token copies of Itali. They will all immediately die to the legend rule but I will have three more Itali triggers on the stack. Resolve the first one. You got swords to plowshare. Max Lander. Marsh Flats Mox- Days Exile. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal, all right. Well, I'll cast, and then I hit a Veil of Summer. Do I want to cast the swords? I actually don't think I do. I'm not going to cast the swords. I'm not going to cast the Mox Diamond. I will cast the Lotus Petal, and I will cast the Veil of Summer. Okay, sword stays in exile. So Veil of Summer does nothing, but my spells can't be countered this turn. All right, uh, then one more Atali, tr- another Atali trigger. A braid. Chaos work. Elvish Spirit Guide. Undying Evil. I will cast the Abraid, uh Jace targeting your soul ring. Yeah, I'll Chaos Warp the Ashnod's Altar. And then okay. I will cast the Elvish Spirit Guide. Or sorry, um, I should specify, I'll... Chaos Warp, uh, Palkatina's Ashnod's Altar, because my, uh, this Ashnod's Altar, uh, will go to somebody else. And then I will cast the Elvish Spirit Guide, and I will cast the Undying Evil targeting my own Atali. Romox. Imprint a Polymorph. And then Elvish Spirit Guide and Undying Evil gets resolved? Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Atali will have Undying until end of turn, and then... We have the last Tali trigger. You got Art. intuition. Ooh, this. I don't have a good intuition file though. That's the thing. Ooh, the reality chef from that one. Uh, I'm gonna leave that coat of arms in exile. I'm gonna cast my tinder wall for sure. But yeah, I will. I'll cast the intuition um, targeting you, Kyle. Okay. So I will search my... And then Tinderwall good to resolve as well? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'll leave the reality shift in exile. All right. I'm going to find 
There's three. Molten Duplication, Heat Shimmer, and Twin Flame. I guess I'll give you Molten Duplication. Okay. I will get Molten Duplication to my hand, and Twin Flame and Heat Shimmer will go to the yard. Palkatina, I will swing Itali at you. Take the seven. Post-combat main phase. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice um, Itali to the Ashdown's altar to add two colorless, triggering Undying. Uh, and Dolly will come back with a 1-1 one, one counter. And we'll get another Itali trigger. Flick Slither. You got an Imp Recruiter. Going to get another. You, you got Mana Severance. What on earth does that do? So you get to remove any number of lands from your deck. I suppose you will cast... And I'm not going to cast that Mana Severance, but right. I will cast the other ones. Um, I will have Imperial Recruiter resolve first, and then Telling Time will go on the stack first and resolve last. All right, and then Telling Time. Uh, so it's look at the top three, one in hand, one on top, one on bottom. This in hand... This on top, this on bottom. All right, using that colorless floating, uh, I'll sack Tinderwall, add two red, and then go down to one colorless and one red to cast a Molten Duplication targeting the Atali. Get a copy, I'm gonna flip again. All right, here we go. Uh, it'll instantly die to the legend rule. Yeah, Lion's Eye Diamond for me. Lion's Eye Diamond? Okay. Uh, Goblin Sharpshooter. Um, those three can all stay in exile. I will cast this Jaxus, though. I'll use this red mana to cast a Rite of Flame to add two red. Red and Nicolas floating a red, cast this Dockside. Oh, seven in total? Looks like it. All right. Yeah. Or one floating mana, seven treasures. Uh, let's use that floating mana, and I'm also going to sack this Lotus Petal for a green. I will cast a Life's Legacy, sacrificing Itali as an additional cost. And I'll put him back to the command zone. And draw eight. All right, I'll sacrifice Elvish Spirit Guide to Ashnod's Altar for two colorless, and then crack a treasure to cast Bergy. I'll exile Simeon Spirit Guide from a hand to add a red. And then I will sacrifice my Imperial Recruiter to the Ashnod's Altar for two colorless. Uh, the... Jaxus for two colorless. This for another red. So I'm going to recast Itali and I will have one colorless floating. ETB on the stack. I am going to hold priority and I will pay two life to cast a Noxious Revival targeting my Cloudstone Curio. Is that game there with the. Yeah, the, and then I will also have a, should have a couple Bergy Reds. And then that should be enough with the Dockside and this Ragavan or this Goblin and Archimaster to go through the loop. GG, guys. I'm sorry these turns take so long. It's okay. Yeah. At least yeah. you're, like, actively doing something, though. You're not, like, sitting there mm -hmm. debating for 30 minutes. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. This episode was brought to you by our friends at Dragon Shield. We will be giving away some of our Dragon Shield sleeves. Be sure to use our Dragon Shield affiliate link in the comments below when you make purchases from Dragon Shield. Every little bit of support helps our channel keep growing.